So uh, let me go on with my presentation. Uh, so currently what I'm going to do is uh, many uh, practicing chartered accountants, uh, you know, uh, we need to work on with uh, uh, work on with the data from the financial statements or data from the ERPs. So currently I'm going to show you a use case scenario where data from a ERP is pushed into a, a chat GPT model from on upon which a, a presentation can be pulled out. So this will be helpful for many chartered accountants who are who are not really, you know, uh, did not have time or could not able to spend more time on the presentation perspective. Rather, they can just go and pull out the data from the uh, any accounting uh, interface, maybe Tally or SAP, upload the data to a chat GPT model and, you know, ask GPT to create a presentation. So this is my plan. So what did I do? Uh, I'm going to use the TDL method. So I have pulled on around uh, 40 data points from the daybook where a click of a button, all the data will be exported to a Excel application. Along with, there are, there are 11 more tables where 95% of the data from the tally will be out as a Excel table, so which I'm going to demonstrate now. Upon after generation of the table, I'm going to upload that into a chat GPT window and going to show you what kind of data it can present to you. So currently, uh, I'm in my tally. So I have linked my ODBC report here. So I'm going to click on this. So it's going to ask me the port code and you know where the data is situated. So every data right from ledger, right from ledger, it is extracted all the 11 tables. So now it is asking me, it in total, it took me, you know, a three seconds to get the data. This I'm this I've done using Python. So I'll open the Excel file. So it has opened all the data. So there are multiple tables for like ledger forensics, uh, ledger master data, uh, daybook, bill outstanding and other things. So this particular data, I'm going to upload to a chat GPT model and ask questions through it and also ask chat GPT to create presentations of it. In a real time scenario, say a, a chart accountant, you know, uh, who is in practice also who's doing a CFO related services can, can work on this kind of a data analysis, pull out the data from a from a uh, tally or any accounting software, upload it into a chat GPT model and get results out of it. So this daybook captures all the line item of debit and credit for every transaction. So uh, with what account has been debited, what account has been credited, through which we, there are multiple things can be done or any kind of analysis can be done any kind of financial uh, uh, presentations can be done any reconciliations can be done so this is how i i, I pulled out all the data from the uh, from the tally window so and uh, this particular data i'm going to upload uh, upload to the chat gpt model so i've already uploaded i've already uploaded uh, around uh, uh, four uh, around four tables, which I will show it to you uh, with the uh, day book, uh, ledger master and uh, stock movement and uh, stock master. So this four sheets of data I'm going to upload to the chat GPT model. I've already uploaded this particular sheet and I asked for analyze the Excel data. So the chat GPT model analyzed the and it came with four tables of data and it analyzed what kind of data each and every, every particular sheet has. And now as a user, I can go and ask any any questions. So it gave me the list of what kind of documents or data the Excel file contains. So now I'm going to ask uh, some, some of the prompts which I've noted here. So can you get me the sales total from the day book? This is the first prompt. So I've just uploaded, but there are a lot of other prompts I've made. So I'm just going to regenerate one more time for you. So this will go and analyze the particular data. It will take the very important, it will go and analyze. It will say the sales will be credited. So it will take the credit column and result me in a total of the sales. Also, I have uploaded, I think it's, uh, I do, it says me to re-upload because it's, So I'll show you the result, let it get generated. In the meanwhile, I'll show you the output, what it has done. So it has given me the 
the total sales here and it it has also given me the party wise sales so i have asked for a party wise sales breakup then i asked for to generate the uh, then my third one is uh, i asked for highlighting the maximum and minimum sales order for each customer it has highlighted and i asked it to create a, a presentation out of it so now what gpts did to me is it has created a presentation and given me a party wise sales so now there are a lot of other tools given what is the minimum sales quantity and other things from this particular data and it has given me in a, a very simple light manner now this particular ppt can be uploaded to any other gamma app or something to make it colorful with visuals so now coming back to the chat gpt here i can go and ask multiple questions for example i'm going to say list get me the list of purchases list of vendors so like this the gpt model goes and analyzes a particular data and gives me the list of vendors and gives me the output and also friends i'll show you uh, i have actually shared this particular sheet with you i'll show you the list of uh, the result where it came already this is party wise purchase oh, sorry there is some okay there is some my page is expired i'm very sorry for this yeah this is party wise sales so it gives me a data like this so then i'm going to ask can i make a presentation out of this so it has rendered me the data so like that i can go and ask multiple questions to chat gpt with a particular daybook data so a daybook data like this and it gives me all the related details at the moment you know i have signed in some time back and the session has been timed out i don't want to take some time waste the time of the audience to load this data likewise yesterday it happened to me i want to show you one more uh, one more presentation uh, so this is a this is a paper called international taxation diploma given by icai which i'm giving yesterday so i i it is a open book examination the materials were around 2000 pages a pdf for international taxation for two volumes so what did i do yesterday i yesterday in fact you know logged in into the gpt window uploaded the pdf file and i asked to consolidate the pdf file for an index between 10 to 25 pages because index is very bad so the chat gpt window actually read the entire entire uh, ppt and created me a detailed index so in the book it was interaction to international taxation it went to the chapter number 2 but however the chat gpt window read all the items of the pdf say the 2000 pages created me a created me a specific index for each and every page and rendered me the data so with this i went and you know i went and created a index for this and it was helpful for my examination hopefully i think using this i could able to figure out at least 25 30 marks very easily in the inside the book and i could able to clear the examination finally i asked to render this as a pdf page it did render me to a, as a pdf page with a pdf i printed and i you know hopefully i wrote the uh, exam very well so so this pdf consolidation was very much helpful to me in my practice as well as this excel data analysis so it was a, a excel gpt i have used inside gpt to analyze this particular data again you know I have taken roughly around uh, 11 Excel sheets, um, Excel sheets from the from the uh, tally generated, but I have not used all of this. I'm still exploring. So I think for a practicing chartered accountant who has a lot of data, who wants to disclose to the uh, client 
upon some kind of presentation they can very well use this kind of a model where you can upload it to a gpt window and you know come out with the presentations and at the moment the presentation which are using excel analysis and rendering it is not colorful it is giving me a uh, data like this but uh, but very well uh, i think uh, using gamma AI, ai and other things that could be we can make a colorful presentation and you know give it to the client and and uh, my my particular uh, uh, my particular prompts were like this so it can give me a total party wise sales party wise purchases uh, which vendor pay, paid more uh, it read me the other sheets of uh, data excel and it provided me the list of receivables uh, and list of payables so all these prompts i could be able to get and very well after it has been giving me the results of this prompts, I can get the data back in Excel or a PDF or a, or a PPT form. Also, I'll tell you, my dear friends, in one such peculiar case, uh, in a matter of two hours, I made Python to read the data from Tally, render the data as a PDF file through a WhatsApp API to my client. So it, I spent roughly around two hours to train the GPT model to render a data like that. So now that particular client it is being rendered with a PDF file every day and from his business automated by using GPT model. So, and, uh, and the following technologies are used in this analysis. So I've used a tally TDL and a ODBC framework. In the backend, I've used a SQL query App for, for generation of data, I've used all these three technologies. Finally, to analyze the data, I've used uh, GPT you know, 4.0 to analyze and you know, download the data. So this is a use case I want to disclose to you and currently I'm using in my office. So over to the host and I'm ready to take questions if you have.